must be on display. It's fellowship. The people must be in time with each other in relationship. See, before Facebook, it was called church. And that's what happened on Facebook. <laughs> so, you know, all Facebook is, I'll be your friend. That's what the church is. And sometimes, Satan will have you and I miss out on the friendship aspect of the church because of what somebody said, because of how somebody hurt you. Because of how somebody bothered you in the church, maybe it was some other church, or maybe it's in the current church. But relationships, damn to be relational in church. Well, how do we deal with conflict? How do we deal with gossip? Well, the gossip ball, we don't deal with the gossip ball. Because the gossip don't gossip. We don't deal with that ball. I don't need to get it. So we don't deal with that ball. Well, what about when there was some pain and there was some hurt? And that was a clear behavior action in place as a representative of the church that hurt somebody in the church. And this person was offended. Well, how do you deal with that? Matthew chapter 18. It says, you go to the preacher. No, no, it didn't say the preacher. <laughs> you go to the preacher. It didn't say the preacher. It said the pastor. No, it didn't say the pastor. It said the it did, it did say the in order to God, you go to that person. Oh. <laughs> Lee, I got a problem with you, brother. Like that. Maybe not loud like that. But Lee, I got a problem with you. Can we talk about it? That's how it works. I got a problem with you, the star. <laughs> I have a Jason. When you did this, you hurt me. No, let's talk about it. <laughs> but that's how it works. That's the way, that's, that's step one. That's how church works. And so we can't have relationships in the church because we don't understand the rules of church and how, how it functions. Starting in November, on the first, on the first Tuesday and on the third Tuesday, we'll have new members classes. And, and, and so to be a member of City Creative Church, you have to go through new members classes. And if you've been here, you don't get grandfathered in. You still have to go through three class. And one part of the class is going to be the doctrine. I want you to know what I believe, and you can keep me accountable on whether or not I'm preaching the word. Because I'm going to tell you, this is what I believe. Now, you can believe something else, but this is what I believe. Since I'm the preacher the pastor, this is what I'm preaching. Because this is what I believe. And so it's helpful for you to know what I believe and, and what city of faith believes as long as I'm the pastor with it believes. And then the second, that's one part. And it's fun. That's doctrine. So we go over what I, who, who is God to me? Who is Christ to me? That's Christology. Who is the Holy Spirit to me? We're going to talk about that. What about salvation? What do I believe on that? No matter what part I read, I'm not going to tell you you can lose your salvation because I don't believe that. That's not a part of my doctrine because I don't believe the word of God. So of course, that teaches that. So there are some other places that do, and that's fine. But we don't really know what church is about until we want fellowship. And if we don't know what church is about, we'll become moved by the experience of it all. But the second aspect that church is about is called discipleship. 